Hello everyone. In this demo, I will make Postgres SQL database as Mendix database. To do this, we will create a Postgres database here with the server group and with the server as a local host and with an empty database. Then we will bind this database to the, our Mendix application from application settings. After all of is done, we can create our first entity and we will see all of the database tables within the PostgreSQL. Let's start with this, creating this one. Go to the, this one and create a server group. My server group, give a proper name. And this is the my server group. And I can create a server, my demo server with the host name as localhost and this is the default port this is the username that we connect from our Mendix application and I will give a password is one two three four after I do this I create my server then all I have to do is just to create a database so Mendix give a proper name Mendix db one that's all we just create our database and when you see go to the schema and the tables there is no tables here then we can skip the actually studio pro part and uh, make proper connections to do this i will create some entity and create some attributes like this one auto number and maybe some name entity and of course i need some of the pages to add some specific data to our application and i will put this overview page to the home page and if i go to the settings it's default and built-in database let's go with like this and create some demo data then after I create my mock data, then I will switch to local database to the PostgreSQL. Then we, after all of them, we need to see the tables from PostgreSQL admin panel. Okay, let us wait while our application is appearing ready. Yes, go to the entity and create some demo data A, B, C, maybe. Okay, now it's time to change the database type is uh, with the new configuration with the building database. Then choose as a database with the PostgreSQL and URL is your host name, local host. And the database name should be here, this one, MendixDB1. db1 and the username and password as we create in uh, server postgres and one two three four choose this one as an active like this and after you rerun your application you will see some pop-up and it will uh, make you confirm that you create these tables under the postgres SQL your database let us see and there will be some create scripts let us wait yes we have some create table create index and many things if we go with the synchronized database you will see all of the database tables in our PostgreSQL database okay for the application actually we will not um, see our uh, latest uh, actually databases this is important but if I create new ones like the A B and C I can able to see from my PostgreSQL let's go to the Postgre and make this refresh yes we have all of the tables with the system table administration module tables and we have our my first module table here let's go and select this one 
if you run, you will see all of the entities in our application. So that's done. Congratulations, and your Mendix application is synchronized with the PostgreSQL database. If you create new entities from your application, it will directly sync uh, with the database you configure. If you create new domain model or if you change something like this and make the rerun, uh, then you will see some pop-up pages and asking you make this necessary change with this synchronized database button. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.